Audio 5.1. The first film we're looking at today is The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, starring Ben Stiller and Kristen Wiig, a remake of a classic comedy from 1947, based on James Thurber's book, which was written even earlier in 1939. The film manages to bring the story up to date quite well. Walter Mitty is a quiet man who secretly dreams of being an action hero. Rescuing people from burning buildings or traveling into space. Soon, however, his adventures start to become real as he decides to set out on a journey to find a missing photographic negative. The special effects are pretty impressive, especially in the scene set in Iceland and the Himalayas. But despite a cast with several excellent comic actors, the film just isn't very funny. Kristen Wiig, who plays the woman Mitty is secretly in love with, is just wasted, with no real humour in what she has to say. Stiller's performance is better, but overall the film's a bit disappointing. The other film we're looking at today is Rio 2096, a story of love and fury. I enjoy going to see animated films with my kids, but to be honest, I'm not usually a big fan of animated films for adults. So I didn't expect to enjoy this one. <laughs> After about ten minutes, though, I realized I was wrong. It's fantastic. The film is set in four different periods of Brazil's history. It starts in the future in 2096, where a man and a woman. Voiced by Brazilian stars Selton Melo and Camila Pitanga, stand at the top of a skyscraper in the middle of the night. To live without knowing the past is like walking in the dark, says the man. Suddenly, the film goes back in time, almost six hundred years, to fifteen sixty-six, when the Portuguese arrived in Brazil. The man explains that in 1566 he was a Tupinamba Indian attempting to save his tribe, who were all killed when Rio de Janeiro was first built. Having failed to save any of them, including his great love Genaina, he magically turns into a bird. He will return as a man in the future when he hopes to be with Genaina once more. We then see the couple living through slavery in 1825 and the military dictatorship in 1970 before returning to the future in 2096. It's a disturbing future where poor people can't afford to buy water, but he and Genaina continue to fight against evil as they've done throughout the last 600 years. The plot is a little complicated if you aren't familiar with Brazilian history. But the story is told with such passion that you can't help enjoying it. It really deserved to win the top prize at the 2013 Annecy International Animated Film Festival. Audio 5.2. A beautiful film about the dreams of village school children in rural Indonesia. Stepping on the flying grass is both visually stunning and truly moving. When their teacher asks them to write an essay about their dearest dreams and wishes, a group of village school children begin to think seriously about what they plan to do with their lives. Puji enjoys being useful and just wants to help others. May fantasizes about becoming an actress. She spends hours practicing in front of the mirror, but does she really love acting, or is it actually her mother's dream? Agus's family can't afford to eat any special food at home, but he really wants to eat at an authentic Padang restaurant in the city. When an opportunity arises to make some money, he decides to make his dream come true. As the film progresses, he gradually realizes that for dreams to come true, you need to work at them. Audio five point three. Amusing. Surprising. 
ordinary, violent, enjoyable, intelligent, original, predictable, disappointing, entertaining, unexciting. Audio 5.4. I've lived in New York for about three years now. It's an exciting place to live, but there are quite a few annoying things about it too. For a start, it's incredibly expensive. When I moved into my flat three years ago, the rent was already quite high, but it has gone up three times since then. It can also be quite a violent place. I haven't been mugged yet, but my best friend has. Luckily, she wasn't actually hurt. They just took her bag. And the traffic—it's dreadful. It took me more than an hour to get to work today, and nearly as long to get home. However, I've never lived anywhere where there is so much to do. Over the past month, I've been to the theater three times. As well as to a number of great art exhibitions, I've also just started salsa classes. You can find everything from everywhere here. So, although living in New York has some bad points, on balance, I don't think I want to live anywhere else in the world. Audio five point five. One. I'm absolutely exhausted. Two. She was absolutely amazed. Three. That smells absolutely delicious. Four. It's absolutely astonishing. Five. It's absolutely enormous. Six. It's absolutely freezing in here. Audio five point six. One. I can't walk any further. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'll have to sit down. Two. She was absolutely amazed when she saw her sister standing at the front door. They hadn't seen each other for ten years. Three. That smells absolutely delicious. I love the smell of garlic. What are you cooking? Four. It's absolutely astonishing. This is the first time you haven't been late this year. Five. I can't carry that. It's absolutely enormous. I'll need help to get it up the stairs. Six. Put the heater on. It's absolutely freezing in here. Audio five point seven. Conversation one. Did you see that stuff on Facebook about how much music people listen to every day? Yes, but I'm not sure I believe it though. The statistics look much higher than I'd expect. I mean, who listens to music when they are going to sleep? Me and thirty-two percent of the people they asked. Conversation two. What do you fancy watching on TV tonight? I thought we could watch the program on climate change. Oh no, that sounds really boring. I really don't want to watch another program about the weather. Well, I thought it looked quite interesting, but if you're really sure you don't want to watch it, there's a sci-fi movie on the other channel. That sounds much more interesting. Conversation three. Have you tried this new film site? Is it any good? Yes, it's great. I expected it to be really expensive, but it isn't. But you have to be careful. <gasps> Why? 
I stayed up till 4 a.m. this morning watching a whole series. I wouldn't recommend that if you have to go to work the next day. I'm exhausted. Audio 5.8 One. I feel tired. Two. The film was good. Three. That meal was tasty. Four. It's cold today. Five. That piece of cake is large. Six. It looks bad. Audio 5.9. One. It was nothing like as good as I expected it to be. Two. It's really not worth seeing. Three. I wouldn't recommend it. Four. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't like it. Five. It was much less interesting than I expected.